Good morning, good morning. It's your boy Ace back with a fresh video. Um, good morning, good night, good afternoon. <laughs> Whenever you guys are watching this, uh, today is currently Monday. As you guys can see, we are in baby mama's Jeep. Stole the Jeep today, left to the, the Escalade. But um, we're currently on our way to the shop. It's Monday, it's a fresh week. Uh, we got a couple of fresh projects that I wanna show you guys. Uh, we're gonna be doing a whole makeover on an OBS Suburban. You guys know we do the OBSs, so he said he wants the Ace Touch. He wants to switch it up a little bit. So we're gonna do a whole makeover on that Suburban. Um, and then we got a truck that got vandalized, spray painted, uh, and we're gonna be doing a whole, obviously clean up on that one, get rid of the vandalism, the spray paint, and then we're gonna clean that one up. And then this week, hopefully, hopefully, I mean, you guys know, everybody that I talk to, they say is always the paint man and the motor man that are never on time. <laughs> but the truck is supposed, the step side is supposed to be done before Thanksgiving, but I don't, I told them it's not a rush. I'm not rushing them at all. I want the truck to come out good. I know Caesar's a beast with what he does. Um, so I'm not gonna rush him at all. Everything I, everything that I've seen so far is amazing. You know what I mean? If there was anything that, that I didn't like, it's because I half-assed it personally. But yeah, Caesar's a really good guy. He got a real good team over there. They said I should get the truck back by things before Thanksgiving. Uh, so hopefully we'll see the truck before Thanksgiving. And I'll show you guys some upgrade updates on that. Um, you guys are gonna see it a little sad. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to sell the wheels this week. Uh, I ordered the other wheels a couple weeks ago, but I sold my wheels. Uh, the guy's supposed to pick them up this week. I think he said he wants them. So you guys might see the truck a little sad with no wheels. We might just take the, the billet specialties off the Impala so it doesn't look so ugly, but we'll see what we do. But yeah, guys, it's Monday. Thank you for tuning back in let's get this week going all right this is the vandalized one i got here a little bit late so the guys already got started on it you guys can see this side is already starting to clean up but the whole truck did get spray painted with this red spray paint bird even took a little dookie on it <laughs> but uh the whole truck i think this wheel even had a little bit of spray paint i know this wheel obviously has spray paint they kind of just went around the whole truck with the can they already started taking off right here a little bit but as you can see they went around the whole truck with that can and uh, basically just try to ruin it. I don't know what exactly their plan was, but kind of just focusing on the paint. Then we're gonna get those wheels cleaned up, take that off, and then we'll polish the wheels, buff out the whole truck, and this one will be good to get out of here. But that's the vandalized truck, the spray painted truck. And then this is the OBS that we're gonna be doing a full makeover on. Uh, I got my guy right here right now. He's about to do the full paintless dent repair. The truck has dings all over. We're gonna take care of the full paintless dent repair. As you can see, the hood has a bunch of dents as well. You kind of see them. We're gonna take care of all those dents, changing out the grill, going from a GMC grill to a Chevy grill. Not the worst thing. We do that all the time before anybody's like, why would you do that? <laughs> changing the headlights, changing the corner lights, putting a brand new grill on there. Um, we're gonna be getting the bumpers wrapped white to match. The mirrors, I think we might be getting resprayed because he said they're pretty faded. He wants me to see what I can do with them, but probably gonna send those out to get painted obviously polish out the wheels clean the whole interior kind of just give this thing a uh freshen up you know nothing too crazy get rid of obviously the gmc badge because you're gonna look like a chevy after it leaves here <laughs> but yeah it's gonna be nice got the gmc 1500 badge he said he doesn't want these i don't know why he told me to order some other ones so we did order him some other ones but like i said this thing is gonna be nice full-blown project so it'll be real real cool to see once it's done As you guys can see the boys wasted no time just in the matter of me sitting down organizing all my stuff and getting everything all set they pretty much already got all the the red spray paint knocked off as you can see my dad's uh kind of bringing back the good shine and then he's finishing it off the right way make sure we leave no swirls or none of that you guys know we hate swirls and we don't do that <laughs> but yeah as you can see all the vandalism is gone we did polish out the wheels because obviously when you take off spray paint you're gonna do a little bit of marking up or there might be some stuff left behind so we did polish out the wheels made sure that's on point i'm gonna show you guys a suburban right now we got my guy doing the pdr now on the impala i had two dents they were kind of weird but it was the exact same dent on both sides on the fender and that was the only dent that i saw that bothered me so definitely have to get that taken care of so he got that i know he got one side done 
and he's working on the other now obviously the suburban i really should have showed you guys a lot more maybe if you pay close attention to the videos they had a big dent right here these obviously you wouldn't be able to tell but it's a uh, and it's more than 20 year old truck you know so had things right here things 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 just a whole bunch of things obviously you could tell right here he was working had things all over this was a pretty big one this one was all the way in obviously he can't do anything about the paint but he did get the dent off the hood he said he's gonna order a new hood so we skipped the hood uh he ended up deciding that he's just gonna go ahead and order a cow hood kind of switch up the hood a little bit so i would have done the exact same thing skipping the hood got rid of everything on this side he had a big crease a big 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 crease on this side got rid of that one and then took care of obviously all the smaller things on this side as well so she's ready not ready she's ready to start getting the real works but the dents are all done and now it's time for us to do what we do i'm gonna start taking this whole grill apart right now take his headlights off get everything ready for when obviously my brother gives me the parts painted um slap him right on and he'll be ready we'll start working on the detail and whatever the whole teardown process begins now <laughs> these mirrors also are gonna be coming off but yeah let's do this all right that's a wrap on the uh vandalized truck the spray painted truck the guys knocked this one out the park quick you guys see when i came in in the morning they were already halfway through taking all that vandalism off all that spray paint off so they completely got everything off and as i told you guys we did polish out the wheels just to kind of give them that nice shine back because we did have to use special stuff to take all that spray paint off and they looked a little you know dull or whatever plastics were all spray painting still got to give it a quick little rundown right there but for the most part <clears throat> she is all said and done no spray paint on the wheels no spray paint on the truck hopefully he don't make nobody mad anytime soon <laughs> But yeah, this one is ready. So yeah, if you guys ever get spray paint or somebody ever tries to spray paint your car, tries to ruin your paint or something like that, just come see us and we will definitely take care of that. So we're out ready to go out the door. All right, now we got the Suburban all naked. As you guys can tell, we took off one emblem there, one emblem there. Obviously all the stuff on the bumpers came off, all the moldings and whatnot. I gotta get those ready to get wrapped. Took the mirrors off, gotta get those ready to get painted. The whole front end is obviously getting changed, grill, lights, the whole setup, everything is all getting completely changed. The bumper's getting wrapped white. Took all that off, obviously had to take off the license plate frame. Everything, everything completely came off. Now we could just focus kind of on the cleaning part. Meanwhile, everybody else does their thing. Meanwhile, my brother paints the grill. I got another guy that's gonna paint the mirrors and then I got another guy that's gonna come and wrap the bumper, bumpers. Uh, so meanwhile, they do take care of that. We're gonna take care of our parts, start cleaning it up, start prepping it. So once those parts start coming together, we won't have so much left. And we did take off the one on the side right there too. So yeah, Suburban is completely stripped. Didn't take us too, too long, but the Suburban is stripped and ready for the next steps. And that's a wrap on the Impala SS. This one is also ready to go out the door. Well, not out the door, cause it's not going nowhere but it's ready now pops took care of the paint for me my guy gus took care of the wheels for me everything is back on point now she really wasn't too bad but never hurts to give him a quick freshen up you know so yeah everything is back on point got those dents on the fenders taken care of got the wheels polished out got the paint back on point and pretty much set check it out not sure if I ever showed you guys all the little details on this car. I might have, I might not have matching steering wheel. She's nice, real nice. But yeah, like I said, just had to throw the Impala in the mix. Make sure I show you guys exa how exactly it came out once everything was all said and done. Had to make sure we got that for you guys. The Impala is ready not to go out the door, but to stay in here. <laughs> it's officially time to show you guys some progress I'm not gonna lie i kind of did <laughs> slack off the last few days um i haven't picked up the camera in a few days but we've just been kind of busy and then uh we closed down thursday obviously for the holiday um but we still been getting stuff done and i want to show you guys what we we got progress wise so far got another car and my brother dropped off his box chevy show you guys a box chevy show you guys what we're doing on that one show you the progress on the other cars and um yeah we'll go from there but yeah like i said i want to update you guys show you guys what we got going on 
not just throw these videos away and let them go to waste. So let's get you guys some footage. All right, let's start with the Buick. Obviously, you guys could tell this side I haven't touched at all. And you can kind of see that difference right away. I think I did show you guys a little clip. I might have recorded, I showed you guys whatever, but this side you can obviously see a lot more shine and we're still not even close to being done. This is just me wet sanding and bringing that shine right back out, but not completely buffing or polishing it out all the way. So still gonna clean up a lot more. As you guys can tell that orange peel is just not it. This side looks way better compared to this. If you see it in person, I'm sure you'll be able to tell the difference. Um, Mr. 75 box Chevy, I'm not even sure if I showed this one when it got dropped off. Mr. 75 did drop off his car a couple days ago. Um, don't mind the pinstripe, this is all getting replaced. The only reason we left it on there is because he wants to line it up perfectly to where it was before. So he said, just leave it on there. Once we put the other one on there, we'll take care of that. But he dropped off his box Chevy. He had told us supposedly the interior got details. <laughs> this interior did not look detailed to me. So we cleaned it up for him, went over everything all over again, did the actual leather conditioner on the seats, cleaned up all his little you know, chrome stuff and whatnot, what an actual detail supposed to look like. I'm not saying anything about who did it. I don't know who did it. I'm pretty sure. I think he said it was one of the shops that got it done for him. So they weren't really necessarily trying, but got it all cleaned up for him. Did a full paint correction, interior detail. Um, just kind of went over everything, cleaned up everything. And we also put on the ENG grill for him. He did bring this and told us he wanted us to put the ENG grill on there, so we did. Uh, so yeah, the box Chevy is pretty much done. You can see we got the double R and the caps. Going with the Rolls Royce flow on this one. And if, I don't think the key's in there, but it actually has star lights in the ceiling and everything. I'll try to get you guys some videos right now. And we got my brother's box Chevy. This one just got dropped off uh, maybe a day, day or two ago. So we're barely starting to clean up everything. He kind of wants to go over everything. Obviously try to, you know, make it presentable for him to sell or whatever he's gonna do. I don't know if he's gonna keep it. I doubt it because this guy doesn't keep anything. <laughs> but from what I know, it's it's uh, maybe one, one or two owner car. He bought it off an old lady, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so he's just trying to clean it up and then we're gonna see what he's doing with it. As you guys can tell, it's a pretty clean car, so. I don't think he'll have a problem selling it. We're gonna go ahead and clean up the interior first, then we'll give him, hook him up with that paint correction, bring that paint back to life, and we'll go from there. Box Chevy, oh yeah, this is all the paperwork too. He has a bunch of paperwork. I know he has the paper from like when it originally got purchased. Look, this is the warranty from 1987. Why is my camera not focusing? Anyway, there's a bunch of paperwork that the old lady gave him. And then we got the Suburban. The Suburban we got a lot done on, actually. Not a lot, but, you know, got a lot of progress. Obviously, this whole side, you can tell, is already buffed out. Pretty much almost ready for ceramic coating. Um, the front and the back bumper we still have to wrap. So once we get that done, my guy, I think he said he's going to be coming... Uh, what was it, Monday? No, yeah, I think Monday. Monday he's supposed to be here. So within a couple days, I'll have these bumpers all wrapped up. The mirrors, I actually got them resprayed for him. So the mirrors did get freshly painted. I still have to polish them out. Um, but the mirrors did get freshly painted. Uh, I got all his parts pretty much. I'm gonna show you guys the grill right now. I got all his parts for that. And yeah, like I said, just, oh, we also got the windshield tinted. Windshield got tinted, he said he didn't want nothing dark. He just wanted it tinted, you know, a little bit, but he's, he tows with the truck and everything, he uses it, so he doesn't want a super dark tint on there. So we did a light 35% windshield on there for him. Windshield got tinted, mirrors got painted, interior's obviously all set and done. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this, I don't think I did. Interior's all set and done, got everything all cleaned up. Seats all conditioned, leather. Everything, everything got the full nine yards. So obviously once the paint correction is done on this one, we will be doing the ceramic coating just to protect it. Obviously this is a real clean truck. If I'm not mistaken, it's like a 97, 97, 98, somewhere around there. So for it being this clean, you obviously want to maintain it and keep it this clean as long as possible. Still got to replace some emblems and stuff, but she's getting there. She's getting close. 
close to the finish line. But that's pretty much it. I don't think we got nothing else. That's it, right? We don't got nothing else outside, Gus? No. That's it. I told you guys we've been, you know, not crazy, but we've been doing little stuff. Obviously, you guys see there's progress on this one. There's progress on that one. And that one is done. And then he's already working on this one. So we're doing what we can. But, yeah, that's about it. Go ahead and close out the video um, just so I can get you guys some footage out there. Next week is going to be a fresh week. Uh, there's going to be some interesting stuff going on next week. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to go pick up uh, a new toy. So I'll show you guys that. Maybe I'll try to record tomorrow. If I don't record tomorrow, I'll record it Monday. But that's going to be a fresh video. So let's get this one out there. <clears throat> um, appreciate everybody that's been tuning in, watching the videos, liking, commenting, subscribing. Anything you guys do, I appreciate it. Uh, just keep, you know, watching the videos. Keep tuning in and keep an eye out because trying to make things a little more interesting trying to do a little more of this a little more of that and like i said we're gonna be picking up a new toy and that one's actually gonna stay for a while it's not gonna be a one toy like one of these over here that you're just gonna see for a few few videos and it's gone <laughs> this one's actually gonna be a keeper but yeah thank you everybody it's your boy ace checking out i'll catch you guys on the next one